Hello, and welcome to what I'm calling Day Zero 2.0. <laughs> we had a little slight bit of a false start today. Today was supposed to be day one of the actual fast. I started out great, I didn't eat breakfast, came up to the True North Health Center where we had a very smooth landing and a warm, welcoming orientation, and got halted on the fasting. Uh, very simple, what happened was the original doctor with whom we scheduled wasn't available for our exit appointment and examination on our departure day because he's going off for some time off later. And I really would prefer to have the same doctor throughout. So we were able to change to another doctor that is here now and going to be here on our exit time. But he didn't have any more appointments available today. And the rule here is you don't start your fast until you have your examination with the doctor. And then the doctor actually prescribes what you're gonna be doing. A water only fast, a juice fast, or some kind of limited diet. So I am shooting for the moon here. I'm going for the full on water only fast, of course, as I've mentioned and as I've been hoping for and dreaming of and excited about. And I'm just gonna to have to wait till tomorrow. Uh, which is Christmas Day. The appointment with the doctor is in the afternoon, so hmm, what do I do? Do I skip breakfast and then I'd have to skip lunch as well and then see if he wants me to fast? Or do I just go ahead and eat breakfast, eat lunch, then go to the doctor, then start the fast, or actually just go ahead and have Christmas dinner and then officially start the fast the day after Christmas, the 26th, which would make this day minus one, <laughs> tomorrow Christmas would be the zero, and then the first day of the fast, day one, would be the 26th. We'll see, I'll keep you posted. I am committed to making these videos every day, so uh, I'll, I'll let you know. So for the time being, I'll just share a little bit about our arrival and the experience. Again, it's been wonderful. We already love the True North Health Center. Have a beautiful two bedroom apartment here. They did take over an apartment building and that is the accommodations for the um, in-house patients at True North Health Center. And it's a beautiful, comfortable apartment. Uh, we have a kitchen and a dining room. I don't know why you would need that. We did have lunch in the dining room here today, which was just a great introduction to the place. Met a few of the other residents here, uh, patients, if you will. And we had the incredible opportunity. I was so grateful. Dr. Goldhammer walked in, uh, just burst in the, the dining room, and I stuck out my hand. Hi, Dr. Goldhammer, Evan Hirsch, nice to meet you. And uh, he went in and got a big mountain of food, and he came and sat right down next to us. And we had them all to ourselves for the lunch period, so I had a wonderful little talk with Dr. Goldhammer. I did request that we do an on-camera interview at some point while we're here, maybe even more than one, so stay tuned for that. I'm really excited to be bringing you a one-on-one -on -one with Dr. Goldhammer that I can share. He is the fasting guru. He is the founder of True North Health Center. He is one of my great gurus, my number two guru for fasting, and we actually had a little conversation about my number one guru. I'm not gonna get into that, because uh, my dad taught me, I, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. I only have nice things to say because I've watched so many of his lectures and I was really inspired by that. He's the first one who really uh, struck up my awakening for fasting, for water-only fasting, although uh, there were a bunch of reasons why it just wasn't practical actually to do a fast with him at his retreat center. So I'm here at True North Health Center, fasting under the supervision of the medical staff here and founder, Dr. Goldhammer, We'll talk to him soon. So that was a wonderful welcome, and we got the tour and the orientation and all that. We love our apartment, it all worked out, and we're eating because we couldn't get the doctor appointments right away, so that's fine. Uh, I roll with things, no biggie. Uh, I was excited to start fasting, but it's still gonna happen in due course in the next day or two. So for the meantime, we get to eat Christmas Eve dinner here at True North Health Center. The food is good, I will say. Um, people really do notice that you taste the food here. It's, it's simple, clean food. It's plant-based, it's whole food, and there's no salt, oil, or sugar. And whole food is different from just vegetarian or vegan or plant-based. It's no refined carbohydrates. So there's no flour, there's nothing milled. It's all just whole foods that they cook. We had some nice steamed greens and uh, what they call a white lentil stew made from white lentils. And it's just a celery root and, and herbs and onions and spices and, uh, vegetable stock and everything. Their salad dressings are really innovative and unique. I took a picture. They have a list of all the dressings uh, from the salad bar and what's in each of them. So 
so I now have all those recipes. Uh, I also took a, a few, few cool pictures. I got a selfie with Dr. Goldhammer, and I took a picture of, they have this cool poster on the wall in the medical clinic called the New Four Food Groups, and it was like fruits, vegetables, grains, legumes, something, something like that, nuts and seeds maybe in there as well. And I'll share all those, of course, but it's just so inspiring being here in a place where we are all here to achieve optimal health, to really maximize our health by diet and lifestyle choices. People exercise here, they rest well, they drink lots of water, that's all part of the program. And it's just a really healthy, welcoming, comfortable, nourishing, social, fun place to be. Uh, again, we've already met a whole bunch of nice people who are staying here at different stages. Uh, one woman shared with me, she just is coming out of her 10 day fast. Today was her first day of refeeding. And I finally got to see the chart on the wall that tells you how the refeeding goes. I wondered how that went. And uh, I, I, I didn't memorize it, but it's like there's a there are five different stages of it. And uh, the first one is just fruits, no citrus. And then you add in other raw foods, salads, and you add in cooked but only greens and stuff and eventually the fifth phase is you can eat all plant-based whole food and of course no salt no oil no sugar and that one each one is prescribed for a time period and that fifth phase that I just mentioned is prescribed for 50 years and that's the commitment that Dr. Goldhammer made and I assumed he was a little older than he is I, I, I don't know why that was but I asked him at lunch I said you must be getting quite close to the end of your 50 year experiment and actually he's still six years away so he's I guess only uh, only 60 now and uh, I mentioned that I'm going to turn 49 here at True North Health Center and he said oh you're not even halfway through life so really encouraging and supportive environment and just to sit next to the man. I'm not really starstruck about people. I worked in a luxury hotel and I've met many, many celebrities and I was recanting over lunch that in the hotel business, especially luxury hotel, we really encourage name recognition. Everyone loves the sound of their own voice. So, oh, Mr. Smith, welcome back. Mr. Smith, have a nice evening, Mr. Smith, you know. But when it's a celebrity, you do the opposite. You don't say their name out loud to attract further attention for other people to recognize who they are. You just say, good evening, sir, and give kind of a knowing nod. And they know you know who they are, and they appreciate that you're not mentioning them. And so, uh, why did I bring that up? I'm lost. Anyway, oh, I know why. <laughs> I'm not really starstruck. So I've been around celebrities and they don't face me too much, but I did feel that that starstruckness today at lunch sitting next to Dr. Alan Goldhammer, my real real guru for fasting. I've watched so many of his lectures and interviews and podcasts and vlogs and all that and um just so moved by him and his work and his dedication to helping people get healthy. I uh, noticed uh, a lot of the people around here seem quite overweight and that's a wonderful reason to come here and, and push through it and not eat anything for a while, reset the palate, reset the metabolism and the gut biome and all that and, and kickstart a new life for yourself and what a wonderful thing for people to do. So. I'm grateful to all those who have expressed their, their respect for what I'm doing and that they're proud of me and, and my commitment to getting healthy. It's interesting, a lot of people think I'm so healthy. I've always appeared slender. I mentioned in the last video about Soto Foti, skinny on the outside, fat on the inside. You look skinny, athletic, healthy, but on the inside, because of all the cheeseburgers and pepperoni pizza and hot fudge sundaes and chocolate cake, the organs have fat around them. And God knows what kind of gunk is still caught up and left over in the small intestines for decades and decades. So I may have appeared healthy to people and I have great energy and a positive attitude, but I don't know that I was actually as healthy as people would think or even that I thought. And that's what my wonderful doctor, Shiroko Sokic, has uh, revealed to me that I think I'm healthy, I feel great, I'm the last to get sick, I'm the first to get over it when I do, but I do have a compromised immune system and I do have little issues that pop up here and there. I mentioned in the zero day zero video that I will be doing a video just about my health details uh, um, you know, down the list that I plan to go over with the doctor. I do 
hope that Dr. Strucker, who is my assigned doctor, will be willing to do our examination and conversation on video, and then I can share that with you as well. I really want to live out loud here and expose myself fully and truthfully so that I can inspire, educate, and share, which is, of course, my mission and my purpose in life. And so I hope that I will inspire some of you to just reconsider what you're doing, what you're doing to yourself. Look around you. How many people over 70 do you know who have had no experience with cancer, diabetes, or heart disease? And by heart disease, that means high blood pressure, blocked arteries. Have they had angiograms and angioplasties? Do they have a stent in any artery? Have they had actual heart attacks? Are they in danger of that? Are they on any medication? If you are on medication, you're not well. People who are well don't need medication. You may be taking medication and be asymptomatic and be feeling well, but that doesn't mean you're well. That means you're medicated, which is a big, big difference. So we are here to get absolutely healthy and I'm absolutely committed and it's day zero 2.0 and we're settled here at the True North Health Center in our apartment where we're going to be for quite a few days. Actually, when we checked in with the wonderful concierge cat, we already extended our stay. We needed to because we shifted the time in which I'm going to do the fast but we also extended it longer. And we did find out the good news that now with our new departure date, nobody is scheduled to check in for another five days after that. And since five days is a pretty short visit for anyone to be here, it'll probably stay open for that period so we have some five day wiggle room to extend. And that's if we don't start the fast for a couple days, if I my body is doing well and I get to extend my fast longer. They do require that you spend 50% of however long you fasted here at True North Health Center for your refeeding process. I explained how there's a five-stage refeeding process and we'll just see what happens and how it goes and how my body responds and what the bioindicators reveal. I had a beautiful blood pressure this morning of 107 over 61. Um, keeping a record, they give you a spreadsheet to keep notes and a record of all of your vitals that they take. And I weighed 165.4 pounds naked on the home scale this morning. And they took my weight here with clothes on. It was a couple pounds more than that. Uh, but I'm sticking with what I did, which was a, a true naked weight on the scale when I woke up this morning. Morning. And uh, I don't know, I'll post something about that as well. I got the picture of my bare feet standing on the scale with uh, 165.4. That's where I'm starting out. I expect I will lose some weight by not eating. And uh, I've weighed as little as 160 before. It's, did I, I, I may have dipped like a fraction of a pound less than that uh, at some point in the last six months or something when I was really, really clean and strict and no sugar and, and uh, limited fats. And um, sometimes I've done some 36 hour fasts, uh, but I, I actually was eating pretty heartily intentionally for the last month or two uh, in order to prepare for this and build up some, some fat reserves and nutritional reserves. So 165 is on the higher end of kind of where I've been lately, 162 to 165. So we'll see where all that goes. We'll see what the doctors, um, you know, get a read on me and, and with their blessing, I'll keep fasting or, hey, Evan, it's time to go back on the refeeding that I'm going to go. I'm going to trust them. I'll discuss things and examine things and analyze them with them. But uh, at the end of the day, ultimately, I'll trust their guidance and, and stick with it. That's what I'm here for. These are the experts. They have helped tens of thousands of people fast here at the True North Health Center. And we are just some new patients among so many who have come before us and hopefully so, so, so many who will come after us. They do have a foundation here. I definitely support what they're doing. I plan to make some donations to their foundation. As a philanthropist, I wanna support things that help us bring about big change on the individual basis and on the collective level. And so I, I really support what they're doing here. It's drastic measures to take our health in our own hands and to push through our challenges for getting healthy and do, 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 do it. And that's what we're here doing. And that's what we hope you will consider doing as well. And anything else you want to know? Anything else I should say for my Day Zero 2.0 selfie video? I don't know. Uh, again, just excited to be here. We're going to go have some Christmas Eve dinner now and play tomorrow by ear and just truck on through this incredible journey of massive shift in consciousness, evolution of health, and pursuit of truly healthy lifestyle, as healthy as I can get, and maintain that as long as I can. I love that idea of it being an experiment. Let's try it, see how it goes. I love the idea of a long-term experiment, like Dr. Goldhammer. I'm gonna try it for 50 years and see how it goes. 
and that's what they recommend here. So I'm not here to advocate or force anyone or twist anyone's arm, but I am here to inspire, educate, and share, and live out loud and share my experience, and that's what I'm doing here. So thanks so much for joining me, and be sure and subscribe and hit the notifications bell because I'm going to keep these videos coming and you're going to want to know when they're coming at you so you can follow along and feel the inspiration and bask in the glory of healthy human beings so you'll be inspired to become the maximum of your own health as well. I love one thing that Dr. Goldhammer talks about and that's our genetic predisposition towards a certain longevity. So there's a maximum that we're going to be able to live that's, that's assigned by our genes and all we can do is shorten that and compromise the quality of life at some point into a less healthy and less vibrant, thriving existence of well-being. And so I want to maximize what I've got left. I've not lived the most healthy lifestyle for sure. I'm a trained chef and have historically been omnivorous. I've only been pursuing real plant-based eating since about 2016 when I saw the movie Plant Pure Nation, which is a documentary, pretty easy to find, and it's a, conv a convincing, compelling one, and uh, I recommend uh, watching those and get educated, get more information, consider what the options are. I'm certainly no vegan, militant, uh, advocate, you know, type um, person, and I'm not going to get anyone's face or tell them they're wrong or... or God knows resort to ad hominem attacks on anyone for, for their mindset or outlook, perspective, or choices, but I'm going to keep pursuing what's healthy by studying and researching and continuing to read and watch documentaries and videos, and I'm going to share what I learn along the way and hope you'll make your decisions for yourself, but hope that the pursuit is to listen to your heart find harmony within and without and that you will get as healthy as you possibly can and be inspired to do so and to maintain it no matter what the environment or challenges you face. Let's please, please, please help inspire each other to get well and get healthy no matter what that looks like to the best of each of our ability. It's so worth it. If not now, when? If not us, who? If we're going to change the world, if we're going to help heal ourselves, one another, and the world, doesn't it start with ourselves? Doesn't it start from within? Doesn't it start with really listening to our heart, putting as much good information into our head as we can, and then following it, committing to it, living with it? I invite you to join me. Sending love. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you soon. Tomorrow's either going to be day zero 3.0 or day actual day one of the fast. Uh, like I said, I think since the doctor's not going to see me till the afternoon, I'll go ahead and have breakfast. I guess I'll have lunch too before I see Dr. Strucker and we'll either start by skipping Christmas dinner. I don't know, kind of seems symbolic in a way. Or we'll just have Christmas dinner and do that and then the next day officially start the full-on water-only fast for extended period. We'll see how long that ends up being. So much love. Thank you for joining. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.